going on guys? Ryan here coming to you with another pickup video. Now this one I have some stuff from a gaming convention that my friend Ben went to and I also have a wonderful Craigslist deal to show you from my trip when I went to Boston this past weekend. Now to start things right off we got the stuff uh, that my friend got from this gaming convention out in Philadelphia. Now, he offered me to go, but I couldn't. I didn't have the money to go. But uh, he decided to keep a lookout for some stuff that I might have needed. So, and this is the stuff that he got for me. He got me three games for my 64 collection. And we'll start right now with a common one. It's Mission Impossible for the 64. Now, there's a little white on the side of this from where it got faded off or I don't even know. Um, but other than that, it's in good condition and it works, so very common, but very good add to the collection. Plus, I played it a lot when I was a kid. Um, the second one he got for me is Bomberman 64. This one has some fading on the front, so I might look to get it. If I find another copy of it for a good price, I may just replace this one. But uh, I was very happy to add this one to my collection. And I also got... Bomberman Hero. It was a very good game. I loved playing this when I was a kid. And this one's actually in quite good condition, with the exception of AJ, <laughs> who apparently decided to write his initials on here a couple times. Uh, very good stuff, though. Total, I think the total value of this stuff is about 20 bucks or so. But uh, I traded him uh, one of the games that I have for them, and it was done deal. And on top of that, while he was at the convention, he even got some free stuff. Uh, and one of the things that he got was this DVD, and he said that he had no use for it, so he decided to give it to me. And that is the, I believe it's the first edition, too, of the Angry Video Game Nerd. Now, I used to watch this guy a lot, and he, he can be very funny, very uh, loud and obnoxious sometimes, but... It's also just really cool to watch someone get really upset over some of the bad games that Nintendo has released. So, I thought that was really cool, and I will be adding that to my collection as well. I may even watch it sometime soon. Okay, so that takes care of the stuff that my friend got for me in Pittsburgh. Uh, yeah, I believe it was Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I thank you again, Ben, for picking up and looking out for me for stuff. Now, the rest of the stuff I'm going to show you came from... Boston on my trip and the first thing I'm going to show you actually came after uh, this big Craigslist deal that I'm going to share with you. Um, this was actually my friend's. Uh, it's a Wii game and he had two copies of it and I asked him why he had two copies and he said because this one is broken. It's not just the case either of the game. He couldn't get it to work on his system. So I asked him, I was just like, well, if it's broken, you think maybe I could try fixing it up, and if it works, I could keep it? He said, yeah, no problem. That'd be great. And that happens to be a copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Now, I actually nev I have not owned a copy of this. Um, I've played it. It's a very fun game. Love playing it. Um, you ruin friendships playing this game just like you do a Mario Kart. But... Um, and I, the thing is, is, the reason why I took it, even though it's broken, is that I keep looking at the case, or at the game itself, and it doesn't really look like there's anything wrong with it, for the most part, but it won't play. Like, there's some scratches, a little smudge here and there. So I figured I'd take it back here, and I'm going to take it to the local game shop and send it through their buffer, and we'll see if that does anything. And if not, worst thing that could happen is I actually can't add this to my collection. Not to mention... It's also, it's an incomplete, unfortunately, but, and the bottom of this is actually just all missing with the exception of this little flap here. So, but other than that, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. If I can get it working, I can add it to the collection. I'd be very happy with adding it to the collection. Now, to move on to the Craigslist deal. This story may take a minute or two, um, but I was looking through Craigslist around my area I couldn't find anything worth dipping any money into until I remembered I was going on this trip this was a couple weeks before and I went you know what I'm gonna try Craigslist out in Massachusetts and see if there's anything I can find any hits or anything and I didn't find much but I did find this one deal now 
the steal that I picked up is a game system, and it came with four games, its original, its original cords, and a controller. And he was only selling it for 50 bucks. Now, I uh, thought this was a very, very good deal. I was very happy to run across this. So sent the guy a message, asked him, Hey, listen, I'm going to be in Boston this weekend, this coming weekend, uh, or on this weekend at the time. This was a couple of weeks ago. And I asked him if he would hold on to it for me. Now, his next message back, which came a couple hours later, he said, I do already have someone lined up for it. So unless if that deal falls through, I will not have it available for you. But I will let you know if the deal falls through. So kind of got down about it. I was upset thinking, oh, this other guy's going to get it, and I'm going to miss out. He messaged me back at like 10.30 at night, which is about three hours after I already messaged him, and he got back to me. He said he still had the stuff, the deal fell through, and he was willing to give it to me. But he would need more assurance that I was interested to hold on to it for that long a time without selling it. And I went, okay. He was selling it for 50 bucks. I asked him, would he take it for 60 and hold on to it for me for about a week and a half, two weeks? And he said, yeah. So I was very happy to make that deal with him. A couple days later, I sent him a message asking for verification that everything worked and also asking him if there was a place we could meet up because when I get into Boston, I'm not going to have a car and I would like to meet up somewhere, somewhere not too far of a walk for me or having to take the commuter tra uh, trolley. So he goes, okay, um, how about we meet in Lynn, Massachusetts, he asks, and I'm living just outside of Boston with my friend Adam. And uh, so I look up Lynn, Massachusetts in, in correlation with where I'm going to be staying, and it's over a half hour drive. So... I didn't think about that at first, but then I decided to find out how long it is from where he lives. I forgot where, but where he lives in Massachusetts to Boston, and it's over an hour. So I'm sitting here thinking I'm not going to be able to walk or even use the community trolley or even a cab. I'm not going to be able to have enough money to really do anything like that. So I, I went back and forth a few times, email to email, trying to figure out if there's another place we can meet where he could come a little further. And eventually I broke down and I said, hey, listen, maybe, maybe we could do this. If I could give you a little more money, would you just come to me instead? Completely make the drive. It would have been an hour drive for him. To just bring the stuff to me and he goes if you want me to make the complete drive it's gonna be at least another 15 bucks so if you pay me 75 for everything then we'll have a deal and I said yes that it would totally be worth it and I'd be very happy if he could now after that he he went on to say that everything's in good condition with the exceptions of the markings and the, the fading that's on the stuff but uh, other than that, it is in very good condition, and everything works, so I was very happy to hear that. Now, I get into Boston on Friday, this past Friday, and I got in about 1.30, 1 1.45 or so. So we exchanged phone numbers, and I messaged him, and I asked him where he was, and he said he was 20 minutes away. So I was like, okay, 20 minutes. I think my friend and I can wait, and I, and I let my friend know, of course, uh, before before I even showed up in Boston that, hey, I have this Craigslist deal that I'm going to do. Would you mind if we go and pick up the stuff? And he goes, yeah, it's no problem. So now we're outside. It's about 85, maybe 90 degrees, a little bit of wind, but it's pretty humid out. So uh, we're waiting there. It's been a half hour since I found out that he was only 20 minutes away. And I figured with the traffic, it's okay, but I'd still send him a message, find out what's going on, where he is. So I asked him, where are you? And he goes, I'm about 15 minutes away. And I'm sitting here thinking, 
away. He's 15 minutes away. It took it took him 20 minutes to go five minutes worth of distance. I I had no idea what was going on, but uh, I asked him what was taking him so long, and he goes, "Well, I took a wrong turn from my GPS, and it says I'm going to be a half hour now." And I went, "Whoa, a half hour now? We had already been. I got there about." 45 minutes ago and 20 of those minutes well no sorry 25 to 30 of those minutes were spent waiting for him and it's really hot outside I mean I was just sweat pouring down like even the shade wasn't helping so I'm like okay just get here as quickly as you can now he said he was gonna be at least another half hour so 45 minutes later I'm like where is this guy? And my friend Adam's freaking out. He's like, listen, dude, I haven't eaten. I was waiting for you to get out. We need to get something to eat before I die. <laughs> so he's like, call him. You need to call him. And you find out what's going on. Called him. And he said, I'm sorry. I, I'd understand if you want to back out of the deal. And I told him, I was like, no, I don't want to back out of the deal. But if you're going to be really long, I may have to because I just... I, we can only wait for so long. We've already been waiting well over an hour now. And he goes, I understand. So if you want to cut out on a deal, that's fine. I said, listen, where are you? And he goes, I'm trying to get to you. Uh, I'm on the highway. And traffic's really bad. And, and I was like, well, how far away are you? He goes, according to my GPS, I'm about 10, 15 minutes away. But with the traffic, it may be at least another half hour. And I was like, oh, no. Oh my god. Another half hour? We'd already been there. We, I basically just sweated everything out of my body. And I just... I didn't know if I could do it. But afterwards, thinking about it, I said, Okay, listen, just get here as quickly as you can, please. And he goes, Okay. So, hang up with him. And I told him, I'm like, listen, we're just going to go get food. By the time we get to wherever we're going for food and come back he should be here so let's do that so we walked three blocks which was about 15 minutes away walking distance wise and we get food and between the walk and getting the food and eating the food that took us about half hour maybe an hour almost an hour and just as I was finishing up the guy calls and says I'm getting close, but I'm still stuck on the highway, and it's going to be at least another 10 minutes. And I was like, oh my god, this we're definitely going to get there before he does. But last minute, my friend Adam decides, listen, we're going to give him an address close to where we're going, and we'll meet him there instead, because he can get off the highway, and it'll just be a lot quicker. And I said, you know what, that's a good idea. So I gave him an address, and as we hung up the phone, we were leaving already, so we started to make the walk. About 10 minutes before we get to where we were going to meet up with him, I get a call from him saying that he's there. So we're like, okay, good. Now we have to catch up to him now. So ten, I told him, we'll be there in 10, 15 minutes. We get there finally. We finally meet up with this guy, and he apologized a bunch to us, just apologizing for the way and the fact that he just kept messing up directions, whatever. I told him it was okay. I just wanted to see everything before I gave him the money. And everything looks in the condition that I thought it was, with the exception of a few things, but nothing that I can't fix for myself. And gave him the money, exchanged it, and then walked back to my friend Adam's house, uh, apartment. So that two and a half hour endeavor was over, finally. Very happy with everything I got and the fact that we actually got food in our stomachs before we died. Now, so the system is actually the least best part of this deal for me because yes I don't have the system anymore because mine broke a long time ago so I needed to replace it anyway but uh, essentially 75 bucks for we'll even say system the cords and then the four games if you were to split it up into five things each thing cost me 15 bucks essentially with it being 75 so I was very well actually no it'd be a little more than 15 but still worth it and the system that I got is the Super Nintendo and this is actually the first generation of it it's got the 
the reset and the push buttons here and the ejector button, whereas the second generation just has a button right here that you can push up and down. Now, this thing's, it's got some dirt and dust and all that fun stuff on it, and unfortunately it also has some yellowing, if you can't tell, right on this top portion, this top half, and a little bit coming into the system, but uh, I figure maybe some OxyClean could clean that off. Um, but it's in very good condition and it works. So very, very happy to get a hold of that. Extremely happy. And it came with first party AC adapter. Came with the first party coaxial cable. It even came, this was kind of a bonus, it's even a third party cable here. For the audio and visual hookups and it even came with a first party controller I was very happy to find a first party controller instead of a third and uh, unfortunately with this one is if you can see here it's a little taped up right here so maybe the cords inside were exposed so but it works so until I can go down to the local pawn shop or just find another controller at a garage sale for really cheap. This can definitely do for now. Super excited about that. You have no idea. I was very happy to get a working Super Nintendo back into my collection. But the part of this deal I was super excited for were the games, the four games that came with it. And we're gonna try and go in order. We're gonna go in order of value I suppose for this we'll save the most valuable one for last and the pickup the, the pickup of the uh, video the big pickup um, this first game is honestly this was part of anyone's childhood who had a Super Nintendo and that is Donkey Kong Country as you can see it was once owned by a Carla Herman and if you happen to be watching it I happen to have your game and unless you want to pay me for it it's mine <laughs> Um, so, other than the Carl Herman marker, that needs to be taken off with soap and water or something. There's a little bit of a nick in the top where it says Kong there. And unfortunately, the back of it is pretty scratched up. But, uh, it works. It's such a fun game to play. And this is not a very uncommon game, so if I'm looking to replace it, I... I'll look around, see if I can find it, and pick it up for a decent price. And these, this game, essentially on eBay, is about a $15 game, $20 game or so. So, not very bad. It works. That's really all I could ask for. I'm just being picky and wanting a uh, very good quality of label. So, to try and keep going on here without further ado of all this stuff. The next game that it came with was Illusions of Gaia, which is an awesome RPG that I've heard of. And this one's actually probably in the best condition. There's really nothing wrong with it. There's no marker, no real nicks, and just looks all shiny and almost brand new. So, very happy to get that. That's a good $20, $25 game on eBay, I believe. Now the next one, I'm sure most people I gotta wonder what comes after this if this I'm showing this one so early. This one is Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Not to mention this is not a player's choice. And I was very happy to find that because I used to have a copy of this, which my best friend Adam actually has, and I let him keep. Um, and this one's not a player's choice. And this one also looks very shiny and new. But there is a couple nicks right up here at the top but the back's in really good condition and there's just a little dust and dirt on it but very good now the most important one and the one that is valued the most where Zelda was a $30, $35 game still this one values it a lot more it even came with one of these slip covers here to help keep it safe and that is Super Mario All-Stars and Super Mario World combined into one cartridge now, I've seen on eBay that this game goes for, all by itself, cartridge alone, for between 60 and 70 bucks. It can even go for 80 sometimes, so super happy to find this. Unfortunately, it's not in the best of conditions, because as you can see, if I bring it in real close, Carla 
put her stamp on it. Um, and on the back here, for half of the top here, it has some yellowing, unfortunately. But I figured I can clean that off. Not to mention, it still has value, even though it's a little banged up like that. But very awesome find. I was very, very happy to find this. Didn't Very rare, too. I mean, this came out probably with the, uh, the last editions of the Super Nintendos that they tried to release. And they tried to sell the system, all their systems, as quickly as they could before they came out with the 64. And then they added this bad boy in with it to try and sell it. So... I don't even know if that's completely true, if, if it's not, correct me, but I'm pretty sure that's why they came out with this to begin with. So, it was really awesome to find these four games. I was very, very happy about these pickups. Very good quality games, and for 75 bucks, you really can't go wrong. And that's all I have to show you for today. Hopefully I'll come to you soon with another pickup video, stuff I get from garage sales or anywhere else. Um, maybe I'll even find a Craigslist deal here and there. You never know. Um, until then, take care.